Let's go for a ride. Hey everybody, this is Brett with Summit Auto in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. And today I'm going to show you how to take your hardtop off of your Jeep Wrangler JL four-door. Uh, there's a bunch of steps that you can take to ensure that you're going to be able to take it off without damaging the hardtop. And to do it as quickly and as easily as possible, I'll show you all the tools that you need to use and some good tips and tricks along the way. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do before you take your hard top off is to come up with a plan on where to put it. Some people have lifts for them, but if you're probably the people watching this video and this is your first time taking your hard top off and you want to just put it in your garage somewhere, uh, you want to have a plan on where to put it before you lift that heavy hard top off. So I've got it all set up right here. We actually have four two by fours and we have them set up. The width is going to be five feet apart and then you're going to want to have 38 inches between there. So you want to measure that up, get your two by fours in place before you start this because the last thing you want to do is drop this hard top. It's really heavy um, and you don't want to chip the corners that you see sometimes on used wranglers. The next thing you want to do is grab your tools. So a lot of times Jeep will come with this tool kit. It's got your Torx wrenches and a ratchet in here as well. So the one that we're going to be using mainly for this video is the Torx 50. This is also how you get your door hinges off of your Wrangler right here as well. But that's a different video. Actually, if you want to check that video out, it's in the upper right hand part of the screen. You can click that link. But let's get to taking the hard top off. All right, so the first thing that you want to do when you take your hard top off, now that you have all your stuff prepped and you got your wood blocks in place and you have your tool kit, is you got to take these front hard top pieces off first. There's a couple quick disconnects right here, right here, right here, and right here. And they're pretty easy to get off. It, the JK had these screw ins back here that are no longer there. So you don't have to worry about those, but they come off really easy. You just do that that, that, and then you undo that. You do the same thing to the other side, and then we'll show you how to take them off. All right, now that we have everything unhinged underneath the uh, hard top here, it's time to take the pieces off. You always wanna start with the driver's side because it's got a little lip over the passenger side one, and this is the first one to come off. So always remember the driver's side comes off first. Now, they're not very heavy, but they're kind of in an awkward shape, so you want to have somebody else to grab these as you take them down. For safety, you always want to get a ladder or something sturdy to stand on uh, so it's easier to get these off. But they just come off like this. Okay, so we got our case that comes with your hard top. Uh, this is for your front hard top pieces. Now you're going to want to put, there's a, a skinny side and then there's a fat side here. You're going to want to put the skinny side on the, the driver's side on this side because that's where the lips go and then you have places for your hinges right there. So after you do that, you want to make sure that's down as well. It comes with a flap that goes over like that. So when you put your other piece in, it'll uh, not rub on this piece, which will keep your hard top pieces looking good. as well. It just slides in like so. Now you always want to put this side to the back so that it doesn't scratch on any of the um, hinges on the other side. But this is also the only way that it can go in because of how the bag is shaped. So they kind of do that so you don't make any mistakes. Once you do that, you can put this piece up and then there's a zipper. It zips up like so. You can stand it upright so that it's easier to zip. And now you can carry your hard top pieces easily. It's probably about 50 pounds uh, between both hard top pieces in the case here. Um, but then you can put those in the back of your Wrangler so that you can drive and put them on if you need to. Now we'll take the hard top off. So now that you have your front hard top pieces off your Wrangler, the next step is to get this back piece off. 
So now you're going to need your tool kit. So you need your ratchet, and then you need your T50. It goes right in there. And it's kind of magnetic, so it sticks right in there. There's going to be three bolts on the side, as you can see. One, two, three. And then there's three bolts on the other side as well. We're going to take those out. And then there's two quick disconnects, which I'll show you how to do in just a second. Okay, so we're going to take this hard top piece off. Real easy. Now when I had my Wrangler, I actually had some different bolts than this. They were like ones you could hand crank off. I really like those. They come in like a triangle shape. But once you get all these out, you just go right down the line here. And then you go down that line. And then there's two more on the top, which I'll show you in just a second as well. And then once those are off, we'll show you how to get these quick disconnects off and then how to lift it off and place it in a safe area. All right, so now that you got your three on each side uh, bolts out, there's two on the top. There's one right here and then the, there's one right on the other side as well on the passenger side. So you just, same Torx 50 wrench and they just come out just like the other ones did. And as soon as you get those out, you can do your quick disconnects and then you're ready to take your hard top off enjoy the open air feel of a Wrangler. Alright, now that you have all your bolts out of your hard top, and you should have eight of them, and the nice thing is, is that the ones on the top are exactly the same as the ones on the bottom, so that you don't have to worry about them getting interchanged. Um, they all are the same. So you can set those off to the side, or you can put them in the holder that's right in here. There's a spot to put your roof bolts underneath this case here. But now that we got those all done, we're going to take these quick disconnects off so we can actually remove the hard top. So the first one you're going to want to do is the electrical. So it's pretty easy. Just take this red tab, put it down. You're going to press that red tab as you're pulling down. Hold this piece right there. And then this stores right into this spot right here. So it's actually going to snap in just like it did up there. And now it's locked into place. The second one is your windshield washer fluid. There's a silver tab on there. And if you listen real closely, you can hear it click. So then it comes off just like so. And then you can put that right there. And now we are ready to take the hard top off and enjoy the open air Jeep lifestyle. All right, now that we have the, all the steps done to get the hard top off, the bolts are out, your quick disconnects are off, you get your place where you're gonna set your hard top in place. The next thing you need to do is grab a friend or somebody that's pretty strong to get this hard top piece off because you cannot do it by yourself and break your back. Um, and uh, the next step, once you have your person, make sure that this glass is up and that this door is closed. I know it seems kind of weird because you have the door closed when you're taking the hard top off, but trust me, it gets in the way if you don't have it like this. And it just makes it a little bit easier to grab on the back here so that uh, you're not going to pinch your fingers and stuff when you take it off. All right, so I got Mason here to help me. We're going to take this hard top off and we're going to take it over to our assigned spot uh, when we're storing it while we have it off. And it's pretty easy. You're going to want to grab on the side here so that you can get a good grip. And then you're going to want to grab on the edge just to get it off. And once you get it off, you want to get a better grip underneath here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to lock it back. And then take it over to your spot. Since we, have, since we have everything measured up, we're just going to put the corners on each piece of the wood, like so. And now you have your hard top off, and you're not going to damage the corners, you're not going to damage the edges on your hard top. And uh, she's right where you want it, easy to store, easy to grab and pick up when you want to put it back onto your Wrangler, and that's as simple as that. Well, that's how you take your hard top off of your Wrangler JL. Hope the video was informational. Give us a like, subscribe, click the bell notifications for upcoming videos that we do each and every day here at Summit Auto. And uh, we're actually going to be doing a video on how to take your doors off next. So stay tuned for that. You can actually click that in the upper left hand part of the screen. A link to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the right hand part of the screen. A link to this video in the lower left hand part of the screen. And a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the bottom right hand part of the screen. Click those, like, subscribe, and share, click the bell notifications, and once again, thanks for checking out the videos.